All right, y'all, we are live on this absolutely beautiful Thursday. It's hot, but it's beautiful. The chickens are crowing and the sun is chirping and the grass is blue. It's beautiful. Praise God. I do pray that all of you are blessed in the name of Jesus the Messiah. And, you know, I was thinking this morning about everything that I do in my life. And, you know, the wisest man who ever lived, Melech Shlomo, King Solomon, he experienced everything that there was to experience in life. Everything. He pursued everything. He pursued academia, intellectual ascent. He pursued different types of spirituality. He pursued every kind of science and field that there was. He pursued drunkenness and being a burnout. He pursued gardening and planting trees and understanding all the different types of species of animals and flowers. And he had all the women, all the money, everything. He had everything. And at the end of his life, he summed up everything. And he said, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. At the end of the day, everything that we pursue in this life is essentially meaningless because we are going to die and be buried in the ground. But there are things that we can pursue that have an eternal purpose because we do know that in the Messiah, in Jesus the Messiah, there is the hope of a resurrection from the dead. Right? If we are in Messiah, we know that yet we die, yet shall we live. Though we die, yet shall we live. John 11 says that. And you know, if we do fear God and keep His commandments, all these other things that we do in our life will give us fulfillment and joy because we know that we have an eternal purpose. And so this was encouraging to me this morning, so I figured I'd share it with you all. I figured I'd share it with you all. And uh, with that being said, guys, let's, uh, let's, let's get into some, some technical analysis here. Let us get into some technical analysis. I'm going to pull up some charts here. Let me pop into the chat real quick just to make sure we're still here. Is everything here? All right. What's going on, Crypto Pump It? Part of the Cloud crew in here. What's up, Memory Man? Thanks for being here. Shout out to everybody who is a mod. Uh, people are getting wrecked. Um, yeah. Yeah. We're going to talk about these markets, guys. We are absolutely going to talk about it. Let's let a few more peeps get up in here. We've got about 16 seconds. And we're going to go over, go over my personal plan. I am currently not long at all. Uh, well, I'm still in my swing longs for much lower, but I have, you know, obviously gotten stopped out of the longs that I was in. We're going to talk about that too. All right, here we are. What's going on, y'all? <laughs> Here we are. Let's, let's pop into the charts, guys. Let us pop in, into these charts. So, Bitcoin is currently in a local downtrend from the high that we put in yesterday right here at about 46.6. And I am actually in a short trade from about 46, well, exactly uh, 46, 655, and 50 cents. Uh, this trade here, we can see is up about 126% right now. So I'm holding this short as my, I guess you could say, as my swing position. And pretty much what I'm doing now is I'm looking for long entries along the way. And we have indeed caught some good longs on this way down. Um, uh, in fact, a few even this morning, a few small scalps this morning. And yesterday I did actually get into um, pretty sure I got into a long from right here, right down here. Well, anyway, yeah, let me, let me go through that real quick in, over here in the Discord. So basically, this morning, I took two long trades. Uh, when I woke up this morning, the first thing that I saw when I looked at the good old charts was this. I saw uh, that we had two important supports below us. We had the daily level right down here at about 44596 
This was a daily level of support. And we had this golden pocket right here at about 44.25, give or take. There were two areas I was looking to catch a bounce. The first one was this daily level here. The second one was this golden pocket right here. It was a really nice setup in my mind because we had the previous low. If we could consider this the range that we were trading in, we had this previous low right here. And so I figured if we came and took out this low and grabbed the liquidity and got a bounce off the daily, we could get a nice move to the upside. And then my second support was down here in this golden pocket because it's a golden pocket, right? So those were the two main areas I was looking for bounces. We came to that first bounce. Um, well, first of all, this morning I posted, you know, that first bounce that I was hoping to get from the daily level. When we take out the wick, enter on the bounce, we did bounce. I took a long right there and I locked in profit at about 12%. Uh, a very small move guys and then that trade got stopped out in a very very small gain I'd consider it break-even trade and then I posted this video of my rooster coming out of his coop in the morning because uh, you know when you make a good scalp trade when the chickens are drinking this is how you feel right you feel like this at least I do I don't know about y'all but I feel like that and then what happened was we came down to that second support the golden pocket and I longed it as soon as we came up well, actually, I longed it before we even came up above that 618 because we put in a low, then we put in a higher low, and I took a long from right down there. That trade, uh, I locked it in, and then we continued to, uh, to continue to come up quite, quite a good bounce from that golden pocket right there. Um, and that trade, I took more profits at about 22%. Uh, the chickens were drinking for that one, guys, but of course now that trade is stopped out in profit. And if anybody saw the video I posted yesterday about how I trade, you know that you know if you're in a swing short from up here and you're taking these little scalps, you know, the retraces on the way down, you can be very profitable, but you have to do it correctly. You have to place limit orders. You have to make sure that if you have to market into a trade that you're absolutely limiting out of the trade. You need to make sure you're locking in profit. And you need to make sure that you know as soon as you limit out that first bit of the trade, right? So let's say you take Let's just say, for example's sake, uh, we get a bounce off of this level right here, right? We say we want to bounce off this 382, and we come up for a bounce like that. If we are in a long position from right here, okay, what we want to do is, once we're in a good amount of profit, right? Maybe, maybe like we come up a little bit where, you know, depending on what leverage you're using, you're like 1%, 2%, 3% in profit if you're using lower leverage. We come up to right here. What you can do is you can limit out, set a limit order here, 25% take out of the trade. And then move the stop loss up to your entry or slightly below the entry so that, so that if you get stopped out, it's either a very small win or it's a complete break even as if you had never even entered a trade. Because if you're trying to scalp little retracements and you're not doing that, you're going to lose money because you're going to get, there's a good chance you get stopped out. Like we have the bullish divergences. We know we're going to get some kind of a bounce, but we, we never know how much of a bounce we're going to get. We can set our targets, but we never know how much of a bounce we're going to get. And um, I'm pretty sure this is a trade that we took last night as well, but that, that doesn't matter. So let's talk about now. The future. Personally, I, I am not long right now because I, I don't have a level right here. I don't have a level here to long. In fact, let me just do some analysis here on on, on camera and see if um, <laughs> there is a level here because right now it looks like we are rejecting off that 618. The one hour time frame for Bitcoin is looking not very good. Okay, When I entered those scalp longs, it looked like we were actually going to print a a bullish divergence on the one hour because when we were bouncing off the daily and even bouncing off the golden pocket this momentum wave here was higher than this previous green dot so I thought we were going to get a bullish divergence and curve up a little bit right so let me just make sure that we don't have any levels around these parts um, let me actually put this stuff into a folder too that way I don't lose it so I'm gonna name this folder um, 8 slash what day is today the 12th it's going to be 8-12 local. And um, I'm going to move that stuff into this folder here. That way I don't lose it later. But I want to just do some TA and see, do we have any reason to enter a trade here at all? Or should we wait for other levels? Right now, my plan is basically to, to wait for lower levels too long.
okay? That is my plan, to wait for lower levels. Um, specifically, the first level I've got here is the 43.3, but let's pull out some fibs. Let's pull out some fibs. Let's uh, analyze, let's turn off these here. Let's analyze some stuff here, okay? Um, all right, we'll pull a fib from the all the way low to the all the way high, just to see what we got. If we have anything significant there, let's put on a 382. You know, that's that's the level I'm really looking at first. Um, let's t check out the 236. Yeah, we're not even at the 236 yet, guys. Now let's check out pulling the fib from this swing low here to the swing high. Yeah, we're really not at any important level here, guys. We're, we're pretty much in no man's land. Uh, if anything, I would look next, possibly, for um, along from, th from this general area right here, actually. In fact, perhaps, uh, let, me, let me come to a, the daily time frame real quick, and let me just see something. Yeah, check this out. Okay, let's go back to the, like the 12 minute. So down in this area, right here, come to the one hour actually, we have, we have areas of confluence down here that could potentially give us a nice bounce. First of all, we have this wick right here, we have this wick right here where we could look for potentially the chicken string and water if we come down below this 236 and get a bounce off of there or if we come down below to this daily level take out this wick here and get a bounce right from the daily level that's, that's actually the next areas that I would look to long would be those areas um, yeah either right around uh, 42776 or right around 42306 uh, those would be areas that I would look for a bounce. And of course, if we don't get those, then I would look for down here at the 618. Now, that 618 is actually important as well because if we turn on our VPVR indicator, we can see that we do have a, um, we have, we have a pretty significant little spike of volume right here, right within that 618, where we can see we were consolidating here for a while. There's a lot of volume here too. Um, yeah, so those are some areas I'd definitely be looking to long at, but th th this is more on the micro. Let me remove these things here and then talk about more on a higher term time frame. So, you know, really what, what we've got going on here is we came up to this FIB level. If we pull it from this swing high to this swing low, sorry, from this swing high to this swing low, and we turn on our 786 fib we've rejected off of that 786 fib level and we're coming on down we are coming on down um, obviously we do have this golden pocket here to be aware of but this is actually the fib this is fib resistance right this is not really support right now if we wanted supports we would have to take it from this to here and the golden pocket target for this retracement would actually be down here at about 35.9. So we're getting a retracement. We've got a red dot on the daily time frame. But here's the good news. The good news is we didn't really print a bearish divergence on the daily time frame, right? The daily time frame did not give us a bearish divergence. In fact, the, the daily time frame is still looking quite bullish to me. It just looks like we need to retrace a little bit, right? It's not like what was happening over here where every time we pumped up higher, we were getting lower momentum on Market Cypher B. What happened here is we pumped up higher and we got higher momentum on Market Cypher B. And we know, you know, when we pump up and we get higher momentum on Market Cypher B, it usually means we can still come up for another leg higher, right? Um, check out what happened on the four hour time frame back in the day when we played the game of red dot, green dot back here, where we printed the red dot, then we printed the green dot and got the money flow crossover. What started to happen from this point onward was instead of printing bearish divergences, we just started seeing a rise in momentum as we started to come up higher. And then we started to see the bearish divergences form. But even as we saw the bearish divergences form, we were still getting moves higher. So to me, it means it's still possible, very possible, extremely possible, that we get more move to the upside. 
this is a very healthy uptrend. Uh, let's just take a look. Uh, if I remove this fib for a second, and I just take a fib from this swing low down here to this swing high, look, we had a very healthy retracement where we came from the low to the high, bounced off the 382. Now, we'll take it from this low to this high. It's very possible, again, that we bounce off the 382. Let me, let me, um, See, we're coming down to that 382, which is why this is such a significant level for me. If the uptrend is going to continue, then perhaps we can expect I would be keeping my eyes very open on this level of 43171, give or take. Because last time we got the retracement, we came down to the 382. This time, we're not at the 382 yet, but we've lost the local golden pocket. Okay, it doesn't mean we can't pump from here. I'm just saying for me personally, I'm not really looking to get into a long right now because we've lost, in my opinion, the important local supports and I think we need to retrace a little bit more. I could be totally wrong, but the first place I'd really be looking is down here around this 382 level. We know there's a lot of confluence down here at the 382 level, like what we just saw. And um, then what we could do is we could keep playing the game of red dot, green dot, you know, come down, print another green dot here. And perhaps this might be where we start to see the, the bearish divergences start to come in. And perhaps we can get one move to the upside, maybe to, you know, 51K or potentially even higher, guys. But this is kind of my outlook on the, on the market right now where, I, you know, I'm, I'm holding my short from this, from this high right here, okay? Um, yeah, I'm holding my short from the high. And honestly, guys, I was hoping that we would come higher up here. I was really hoping to come higher here, uh, which is why I didn't, um, I didn't, well, I actually, yes, I did post this, this trade setup in the, in the Discord. Uh, let's see here. That was this trade right here. Let's see, let's see. This one right here where we come up above the 786, then we lose the 786, and we enter on the 7, uh, when we lose the 786 level. Um, that trade, I'm pretty sure I, we entered it, yeah, I actually entered that trade twice. I entered the trade twice because it did get stopped out and then I had to enter back into it. And I know a lot of other people in the Discord also entered back into it. I thought we were going to come higher up than that, guys, but we did not, unfortunately. And by the way, this Discord, if you want to check out this Discord, it's patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper where I post my technical analysis and trade ideas in extreme detail, much more than I do on the streams. And also, guys, if you want to learn TA and you don't know how to do this stuff and you don't know how to pull fibs and you don't know how to get levels and you want to learn how I trade, check out jasoncaspertrading.com because this course will give you the knowledge and the skills you need to become a more confident, more profitable trader if you are struggling. Not financial advice, of course, guys. Remember... I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just a fool in the basement over here, right, with the crooked glasses, with the Pikachu hat on, talking in a southern accent down in the gym. Don't listen to anything I say, but you can check out the testimonials here. This has really been changing the way people approach the markets because what it will do is it will give you a step-by-step -step approach to a methodical trading strategy that you can back test, that you can rely on. It'll show you how to use risk management so that even if you're losing the majority of your trades, you can still be profitable. It'll show you how to find the good entries, how to trade in different market conditions, how to use market cipher, which is very important. Um, yes, and how to create your own strategy. And also, guys, um, I should say that while I am talking about this, if we can get this stream up to 750 likes during the stream, I will absolutely give away 0 0.025 Bitcoin. And also, I should say that I'm currently now trading on Femex. I'm in the process of moving everything over to Femex. I'm still on Bybit a little bit. But if you do want to sign up for Femex, you can use my affiliate link if you would like to and get that $70 bonus. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, everyone has, everyone has the same stuff here. Check it out if you're interested in Femex. Uh, I'm still on Bybit, but I'm, I'm transferring away from there because I'm concerned about regulations coming in. Here's the link for my Discord. And um, also, guys, I, th there's still the $80 discount on the course. If you want the course, $80 discount, constantly adding material to it, check it out. Okay. Thank you, Sparky's Revenge, for the like. Thank you, David CZ, who says my course is awesome. 
Uh, thank you, everybody who's here. May God bless all of you. Um, what do I think about Chart Champion? I love Chart Champion. Um, yeah, they're, they're good. Absolutely. Um, Femex is clunky. Yeah, Femex is clunky. It's a little bit clunkier than Bybit, right? But what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Uh, Steven asks, do we still need a VPN? Honestly, I didn't use a VPN when I used the, 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 the mobile app. I did not use a VPN. I don't know if I probably should have. I wasn't thinking about it. Because on Bybit, if you try to log in without your VPN on your phone, they say you can't log in. Your IP is restricted. But... Um, but if you if you do it on Femex, then there's it doesn't say anything. Can I see myself switching from Discord? Yes, possibly, because the scammers are insane. Guys, I will never direct message you unsolicited, right? If I've never talked to you before, I am not going to reach out to you and say, Hey, man, you need to fill out some kind of new form if you want to be a part of this. I'm, I'm never going to do that. The only way I will ever ask for money on Discord or tell you, if anybody who is, looks like me says to create a wallet or send money or join a different Discord, message me personally and ask if it's legit. It's definitely not legit. I have no other Discord. I have no Telegram group. There's no kind of uh, verification process you need to go through okay, to get, to get into it. There's not, nothing like that. If, if anybody who looks like me or any of my mods or my wife messages you, if you think it's real, contact us first and, and check. Don't get scammed, y'all. Don't get scammed, y'all. Shout out to Crypto Yacht. Thanks for being here, bro. Uh, Jackson says, would I potentially look for a scalp at the previous weekly level? Let's check out the weekly level here. Um, let's see, where's the next weekly? Uh, I don't know if I have a weekly. I don't have a weekly until like 39k, unless y'all do. We can check real quick to see if we create a new weekly level where I wasn't looking. Um, I don't really see one besides this one down here at 39k, right about here. That's just me, you know. What do I know, guys? What do I know? But there's still potential here for upward momentum. If we get a healthy retrace, the happy wappy could get a little bit happier, right? The VWAP on Marcus Cypher Bizzle could get a little bit happier. And um, there's still potential for upward movement. So, you know, I, I will be looking for longs at the levels that I mentioned here. As well, in the Discord, I am posting all the levels that I am looking for um, over there. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we're headed to 39K, Filson. There's other levels before there. There's other levels before 40, uh, 39K, absolutely. <laughs> How long of a retracement are we in before a good long, Scoobs? I think we're coming down to at least, maybe, at least, I. the next place I'm looking for, Scoobs, is the uh, the local 382 here. And I, I would really like to also see some kind of bullish divergence on the one hour, you know, and hey, we could get it before then, right? We could absolutely get it before then, but uh, the local 382 is coming in right about down here at about 43.2, give or take. This general area right here, like at the beginning of the stream, I, I mapped out how there's a lot of confluence right in here. We have a daily level, we have a 382 level, and we have a 236 fib level right in this general zone right here. And so if we come down there with bullish divergences, preferably on the one hour, what do we want to see? We want to see something like this right like this we want to see the wave come up here and then get another wave starting to form right here as we continue to come down that's what we want to see we don't want to just we don't just want along because we're at a place we want to look at market cipher by the way guys if you don't have market cipher and you want it i have an affiliate link but i don't have a discount so you're gonna have to pay full price for it but i think i think bitboy has a discount guys i think bitboy has a discount sorry but are my glasses a little crooked here? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Crypto Yacht's waiting for 43K. 
uh, chicken. I like chickens, and I like ch I like to eat chicken, and I also like chickens. Yeah, we're getting a little bounce right here. I'm not long in this. I am not long in this. I have no reason to. And if we just pump up to new all-time highs, great. I'll look for the next short. I'm already swing long for much, much lower. So if we pump from here, I am in an advantageous situation. And if we dump from here, I'm short, so I'm in an advantageous situation. And I will want to long at lower levels. Similar to Crypto Yacht, shout out to him. Check out his YouTube channel. Yeah. Let me come back to the chat here. Um, Neglect X says best bulking meals. Best bulking meals are the same as the best cutting meals. You just got to eat whole, clean food, high in nutrients. Got to eat high in calories, lots of whole grains, you know, lots of lean, grass fed animal products, free range chicken eggs, um, raw dairy, raw milk, raw cheese, raw yogurt. Um, lots of vegetables, micronutrients, I'm telling you, you know, it's not just about the macros, it's about the micros. Uh, okay, let's check out ETH real quick as well. Ethereum here. Wow. Uh, Ethereum looks like we're getting a bounce out of the golden pocket. And believe it or not, this is a trade that I posted this morning. And let me, oh wait, no, sorry guys, that's a, sh this is the trade that I posted this morning. <laughs> and do you know what that means, guys? That means I'm probably in a long for ETH right now. Let me check it out because, uh, because I, um, I, uh, I, uh, yep, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm in a long. Whoops, you know set the order there didn't even did not even um remember about it okay i better lock in some profits here guys uh in fact let me just post in the discord that you should lock in some dang profits here because this could come down hang on hang on Wow, crazy guys, crazy. I cannot believe that I wasn't paying attention to ETH. Well, that's that's what I get. Currently in a long right now for ETH from this golden pocket. So yeah, speaking of ETH, where's the next place I'd be looking for a long? Right down here at the golden pocket. Right down here at the golden pocket. What I wanna see is I wanna see us come down with bullish divergences. Do we have bullish divergences here? Well, on the 24 minute, we absolutely do not have bullish divergences. Do we have bullish divergences on the 18 minute? No. Do we have bullish divergences on the 12 minute? No. Do we have bullish divergences on the six minute? Yes. Yes, we do. We have bullish divergences on the six minute. We came down to the golden pocket. Price is coming down. Momentum's coming up ever so slightly here, guys. Um, yes, I, I just took 25% out of this position and it is not looking so great, guys. Um, I guess I put an order there and I forgot about it, you know? It happens from time to time. Um, do I think we can come up from here? I don't know. I don't know. This is definitely an important support. If we lose this support for Ethereum, uh, we are probably going to come lower, and here's why. I was looking at this as kind of a local range, with this being the low. And what I wanted to see was I wanted to see us come down and take out that low into the golden pocket and get a bounce with the bullish divergences on the lower time frames. Basically, I said here, um, the divergences don't have to be on the 12 minute, they can be on the lower time frames, as low as the one or three, as long as they're clearly forming. I would treat this like a scalp and take profit early and let the rest ride. So that's exactly what I'm doing now. We did get the bounce. We took out that low. We got the bounce out of the golden pocket. We did get bullish divergences forming on the lower time frames. 
and I just took profit. If I get stopped out now, it's going to be a small loss. It's going to be a small loss for me. That's okay. Um, I have hope. I have hope in the Ethereum. But I put all my hope in the Lord Yeshua. Okay, but I do hope that this ETH will come up. Uh, let's see here. Let's come to the three minute. I think we can come up. Um, depends on what happens with this momentum wave, right? If we do something like this, then we can come up. Let's check out the Uno minute. Okay, the Uno minute's not looking too bad. I, I actually think we can come up from here a little bit. Okay, this is actually a healthy looking uptrend. We don't have any bearish divergences forming. If we do get a bearish divergence on uh, ETH, then I would get out of this long. I would get out of this long. And, um, you know, th it's interesting because Bitcoin and Ethereum, they move together like this. You know, there's no significant level for Bitcoin, but there is one for Ethereum. So, yeah, interesting. So, thank you for whoever suggested looking at ETH because um, <laughs> I'm long on ETH. Uh, yeah, let's, let's go ETH. Let's go Ethereum. Let's go Ethereum. Now, let me pop back into the chat real quick. James has to work on my calves. James, you know, I have to be honest with you. I do train my calves quite hard, but I just, they don't grow, man. They do not grow. My quads are, are pretty good, you know. My hamstrings, my glutes, they're pretty good. I have a pretty strong deadlift. I do toe raises on the stairs, weighted toe raises. I do calf exercises on the leg press machine. They just don't grow. So I'm, I'm, I'm fine with it, you know. Big Butts 28 is fine with my calves. Um, what leverage do I use? It depends on my risk management strategy. If you need to know more about risk management, check out the course at jasoncaspertrading.com. There is a good, um, there's a good amount of information on um, risk management. And again, there, there is an $80 discount in the description right here for the trading course. Uh, Crypto Yacht says lift beers for a one pack. Um, yeah, eat a whole bunch of chicken legs and drink water if you <laughs> if you want to make those gains. Um, do I trade some trend coin or test coin after the gym? Uh, no, I don't. Kevin wants to know is it a good time to enter a short if we break down? Here's the thing, I am not looking to enter a short if we break down. I don't like to short when we break down because here's why. Let's take a look at the higher time frames. First of all, the lower time frames, the one minute is showing us momentum's coming up. Okay, first of all. Second of all, it's very important to understand that just because we lose a support doesn't mean we're going to come down. In fact, a lot of times it means we're about to come up. Let's take a look at the one hour. The one hour is showing us that we are bottoming out. Okay. Let's just look at what happens when we bottom out on the one hour. What happens the last time we bottomed out here? What happened? We came up. What happened the time before that? We came up. The time before that, we came up. Let's go to the three hour. What's happening on the three hour? The VWAP's pointing up. Looks like we're getting ready to stop coming down and start coming up sometime soon. So because we're at support and because the, the higher time frames are showing us that we're about to bottom out, why? Why would we want to enter into a short position, right? doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to enter into short if we can see that we're starting to form a bottom and we're at supports. It doesn't make sense to me. I would rather short if we were at resistances and the higher time frames look like we're topping out. And I would rather long if we're at support and the lower time frames look like we're bottoming out. That just makes more sense to me. And y'all could do what y'all want to do because again, this isn't financial advice, guys. I mean, look, look at me. You know, when I go out in the store, all right, I'll be out in Walmart, I'll be whipping out my fib, okay, whipping it out, and people look at me like I'm nuts, they're like, who is this guy, we could tell he doesn't take a shower, he, we could tell he doesn't wear deodorant, dude smells like crap, he's got a Pikachu hat, he's got upside down crooked glasses, and to make things worse, he's just pulling out his fib on the phone, right, I mean, look at this, guys, look at that fib, I, when I pull it out, people are like, oh, is that even legal, to whip out the fib in public? You know, embarrasses my wife. Why was I talking about that? I don't know. Um, 
Scott Brown, what time frame do I use to determine support and resistance levels? I use many time frames. Many time frames. Crypto Yacht asked, would I ever do a live trade like Crypto Face? The answer is, especially now, no. No. Especially now. Well, maybe someday. Maybe, maybe in a private, not on YouTube, I would. But definitely not here. Uh, I don't know, Meccano Spaghetti, what level XRP would come down to because, um, you know, I, um, I haven't been trading XRP. I look like somebody who would short Bitcoin right now. Exactly. Exactly. So don't listen to anything I say. Uh, <laughs> get into the field and lift the baby calves. It's good for your calves. That's so funny. Thanks, man. Oh, shout out to you, M215 Sean, who nailed the resistance level last night with the twenty with the four hour twenty four minute strategy for an amazing Ethereum short. Awesome, bro. Uh, um, are there any divergences on the fifteen minute? Are we talking for Ethereum or are we talking for the Bitcoin? For Ethereum. Uh, I would say that there is there is no uh, there is no divergence here. I would say there's no divergence here, not right now. For the bitcoins, let's check it out. Um, yes, I would say there's a very very slight, extremely slight divergence for Bitcoin here. Okay. An extremely slight divergence for Bitcoin. Uh, I would, I you know, so yeah, maybe we do come up from here, guys, for another retracement, or perhaps we just pump from here. I don't know, but uh, like I said, it's not in my plan to long here. But I am long on ETH. I am long on ETH from here, guys. I am long on ETH from this trade that I posted this morning in the old Discord Rooney, right? Um. We came down, we took out these lows into the golden pocket, got a bounce. Uh, yeah, we're, we're long on it. We're long on it, guys. Nice. ETH is looking nice, guys. Is this ETH long not looking nice right now? This is looking pretty dang nice, if I do so say so. If I do so say so. If I do so say so. My, myself so. If I do so, say so myself, so. You know, it's not bad. It's not bad. I'm up not too much right now. A couple percents. Hope we get a little bit more of a pump here. I'm actually still in a long on ETH from much lower. So that's good too. Uh, hang on here. Yeah, so yeah, I'm watching myself. Uh, the percent is, is plummeting down right now. And. Um, so I console myself by knowing I'm still in, along on ETH for much lower. Um, yeah, this ETH trade right here is still up about 114% on Ethereum. And the one I'm in right now is... Uh, Not so great. It's up about 5%. So we'll see what happens here. We shall see what happens with this. Not too sure, but I, I think we can do all right. I really do. Huh. What is going on here? Huh. 
Huh, huh, huh. What's going on? Okay. Sorry, guys. Let me pop back into the chat here. Yeah, Market Matt says it's definitely not bouncing. Can you have more than one trade going on at the same time on Femex? Says Adrian M. I, I don't think so, but um, you can have multiple sub accounts. Okay, so Eamon Farhan says, can I ex please explain or walk through how you're long and short at the same time from a TA perspective, uh, but from how many trading accounts? Yeah, so yeah, I do the inverse. I do the regular USDT. Uh, I have multiple accounts. I trade on Femex. I have four Bybit accounts. Um, what's up, Stefan? What's going on, brother? Yes, I, I, need, I don't want to get a new phone. I hate phones. You know, smartphones... They're going to be the death of us humans. These smartphones, I'm telling you, are going to be the death. Once we start implanting ourselves with the nanotechnology, that's, that's when it's going to get pretty crazy. Once humans are on the blockchain, that's coming, guys. Humans are going to be on the blockchain. It's going to be the death of us, these dang smartphones. Uh, yeah, you can unsubscribe from Patreon whenever you want. Which time frame is most important for a beginner learning uh, Satvik Singh? I recommend Satvik Singh that you um, take a trading course. Doesn't have to be my course. Take a course. Don't just find some guy on YouTube who says, "Oh yeah, the five minute for scalping," and then start scalping on the five minute. You will we'll get wrecked. You will lose your money. You don't want to lose your money, my friend. If you're a beginner, you have to make sure to. Um, you have to make sure to. Learn what you're doing first, man. Yeah, I do have a Femex affiliate link, Sean. I do. Shout out to Zaire Johnson, part of the Clout Crew. I just made you a mod, bro. Just made you a mod. Um, here's the uh, the Femex affiliate link if you want to use it. And um, yeah, Zaire, I'm also waiting for those lower levels right now. Um, Okay, so I'm pretty sure my ETH, <laughs> pretty sure my ETH long might be stopped out now. I don't know. Uh, I'm not gonna go through the bother of checking right now. Uh, no, it's still open. Not doing so hot though. All right, guys. You know what? I actually I have to I have to cut the stream right now. Unfortunately, unfortunately. But um, I do pray that all of you are blessed. And. Um, yeah, I pray that the Lord reveals himself to each one of you in a very personal way. Uh, tomorrow's a Friday, which means we have a weekend coming, which will make for an interesting time. And so, receive this blessing in the Hebrew language. And the purpose of this blessing is so that the creator of the universe places his name upon you and blesses you. Yevarechecha Adonai v'yishmerecha, ya'er Adonai penav elecha v'chunecha, Yisa Adonai Panav Elecha Vyasem Lecha Shalom Vashem Yeshua Hamashiach Elohe Yisrael, which in English means, May the Lord bless you, may He guard and protect you, may He shine His light upon you, and may He have grace upon you, and may the Lord lift up His face upon you and give you peace and wholeness and completeness in the name of Jesus the Messiah, the God of Israel. Amen. And I will see y'all in the next stream. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to share this video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to do all that stuff that YouTubers are supposed to say. Peace!